Hi everyone, uh, happy election day, happy Tuesday. This is Avi Woolman, I'm with Keller Williams Realty and today I wanna make a video about how to prepare your house for sale and I'll bring some few tips, um, actionable tips of what you can do to make your house more appealing and uh, to ultimately net the most amount of money uh, on the sale of your house um, in the least amount of time. So the first thing is the front door and the curb appeal. This is the first thing that the buyers will see when they come see your house. So making the exterior of your house more appealing and more welcoming by, for example, cleaning the mailbox and painting the front door, cleaning the hardware of the door, uh, replacing the welcome mat uh, in front of your door um, can make a difference uh, because they always say you never have a second chance to make a good first impression on the house. Um, also cleaning your lawn in the front uh, yard and also maybe you can also add a couple of uh, flower plants to make it look more beautiful and, and attractive. You want the buyers to have a very good first impression when they come to see your house. So that's the first thing. The second thing is decluttering and depersonalizing your house. So pack up any uh, family photogra photographs and any personal items that you like. It might be art items that are in your bookshelves. Um, clean everything off your countertops. Make it nice and clean. It's almost like it's almost like you giving your buyer a clean and white canvas to paint their own life on it. Um, depersonalizing your house makes it easier for buyers to visualize themselves and their own items, furniture and photographs uh, in the house instead of yours. So um, making, all, making the house, uh, decluttering your house, makes it look bigger and brighter and happier. And that's a very positive thing uh, for buyers. So yes, just basically take all your stuff, look at it as uh, the start of the process of packing your items and maybe donating items that you haven't been using and you've been accumulating over the years and decluttering your own stuff uh, is also good for you. Um, and it's a start of a process of packing your house and moving to your next move. So that's the second thing. The third thing is organize your closets and cupboards and drawers. Um, let's face it, serious buyers will look at everything and everywhere in your house. They will open the drawers, they will open the fridge, they will look at your closets and fold your clothes neatly and remove any excess clothes so that your closet will look bigger. Um, clean your fridge, take out all the food from there and make it all look very clean. Uh, same thing with the drawers and cabinets of your kitchen. Start to get rid of stuff that you don't need there anymore and just um, clean it inside and out. Um, the fourth thing is pressure wash the roof. So a lot of times the roof is taking a lot of beating from weather elements um, there's a lot of mold and uh, dirt that uh, gets stuck on the roof and it makes the, the roof look older and maybe more worn than it actually is. And buyers may think it's damaged and will steer clear of houses like that. Um, so sometimes you only need a very good pressure washing of your roof to make it look clean. And um, you can also hire um, professional roof cleaners to come and clean your roof and put shingle protecting products on it but um, a lot of the times uh, that dirt and mold that is stuck on the roof can be just washed with a pressure washer and it's a shame to lose potential buyers because they will see the roof and they will think it's damaged and in their mind, they do not want to take on any projects that will cost them a lot of money. Roofs are usually a very expensive um, 
fix or replacing a roof could cost seven thousand dollars and most buyers want to move in ready houses that they don't have any major fixes to um, pay for in the coming years so um, a damaged looking roof can potentially uh, hurt your sale and steering uh, some potential buyers from your home which is a shame so pressure wash your roof is a, a good thing to do before you sell your house um, number five minor repairs so inside of the house and outside of the house if you see any cracks on the driveways or bumps that can be fixed fix them inside your house uh, patch up any holes in the walls uh, paint your walls neut uh, neutralize color uh, make sure there's no yellow or orange bathrooms. You want the house to look neutral. Um, uh, also fix any leaking faucets or um, any other little, little um, stuff that needs to be fixed around the house. Um, buyers that come and see the house, if they see um, stuff that don't look good, they in their mind they will discount your house they will already think of how they will negotiate all these repairs when they put an offer on your house um, and it's better for you as a seller not to give them excuses or not to give them um, any room for asking for more repairs or stuff like that so um, fixing your little things around the house can help also recalking um, tabs and showers and sinks and um, anything like tiles that can be fixed anything in the floor that needs to be fixed um, fix it before you list your house or before you start showing your house um, these are minor repairs and number six is clean and sparkle your house also inside and out maybe hire a professional cleaning uh, crew that will come and clean your windows inside and outside um, especially now with Corona, we have um, basically companies that will come and disinfect your house. It's not just cleaning, it's more than that. It's disinfection of your house from any potential viruses. Um, you want the house to look beautiful and clean. You want to open uh, your window blinds to make the house look bright and bigger. Um, so also you would like to you also would want to make the house smell good you do not necessarily have to bake um, cookies to make it smell good or buy candles in Target to make it smell good you can get rid of anything that has bad smell on it like shoes or pets or gym bags and just uh, put some lemon air fresheners in all the rooms just to make the, the house look and feel and smell good and clean and sparkly. So that's number six. Number um, seven is look up your address online. Uh, most buyers now start their home search online and um, you should look, you should basically Google your address online and see what the websites are saying on your house. If you find an error such as uh, the number of bedroom uh, is wrong, it's, it's reported wrong on the website, you can contact them and fix that. Your real estate agent can help you with doing that. And um, number eight is warranties. If there are any appliances that you are planning to leave with the house, with the sale of the house, um, and there are warranties for these appliances, find those paperwork uh, in advance and keep them in a safe place so you know where they are and you can um, give them to the buyer. That's an added bonus for buyers. Buyers love appliances that come with the house that they don't have to worry about buying new stuff uh, when they buy the house. and if they come with uh, extra warranties that's even better um, you are basically um, trying to make your house um, appealing and attractive to as many buyers as possible so more showings will happen and more offers will happen and this way ultimately you will get the most amount of money on your house and um, at the least amount of time and that's it 
So thank you so much for watching and my name again is Avi Woolman with Keller Williams South Park. Have a wonderful day and enjoy this um, beautiful day with your family. I mean my four girls at home they have no school today. I know some, some uh, schools do have school today. Enjoy your family time and have a wonderful day. Thank you.